Hello everyone, good afternoon. Good afternoon, mga kapix pro. Good afternoon po. It's alas pix pro na. Magandang hapon, everyone. Let's see. Nakalive na po tayo. Magandang hapon, mga kapix pro. It's uh, kwentuhang cybersecurity again. And it's alas pix pro na. 5 p.m. Yung mga followers natin. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Ayan. So, may mga nag-join na po sa live. Yes. Sige, antayin lang natin silang uh, mag-join para hindi nila ma-miss ang ating mga audience for today. Yan, pa-share lang po ng live natin para sa mga viewers. Mag-greetings tayo muna before we uh, officially introduce our guests. Marami tayong guests for today. It's a very special day. Correct. So, sino ang uh, mga nasa... FB natin ngayon. Uh, let's greet them first. Yeah. So wala pa po tayo mga nag-comments but we have 32 uh, people now in the live. So good afternoon everyone. Good afternoon. All right. So uh, I think uh, excited na sila, no? Marinig kung anong uh, inahanda natin uh, para sa kanila. But I think uh, nakita naman din natin sa ating uh, Facebook uh, page, alright, that today is a very special day for women, for all the women out there. Okay? Gusto ko sanang kumanta, no? Pero mamaya na lang. <laughs> <laughs> Pwede naman be because. Yes, yes. na natin yung pagkanta yes, yes. mo. Oo nga. Mamaya na yan. Mamaya na yung pagkanta ko. But, uh, okay, so we are commemorating the wonderful women of the world. But, more, most specially, okay, this is a special edition na Pix Pro because we have invited the gorgeous and the super women of NCR Technology Partners, right? So, mamaya introduce yan ni Frenzy. But we're so, we're so privileged also to have our President Reese. Hi, Press Reese. Thank you very much for accommodating us for this special edition of Kwentuhang Cybersecurity. Magandang hapon, mga Kapix Pro. Magandang hapon, hapon NCR chapter ating uh, powerhouse ladies. Yes, right. So, so tinan nyo naman ang ating president, right? Uh, so, thank you very much, Press Reese. And I think we also have VP Sheila. Is VP Sheila here? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. So, later na lang natin siya. Uh, yeah, so yes. yes. Okay. So, yun nga, no? So, I think um, sa mga Kapix Pro natin, okay, uh, this is uh, our way of uh, also celebrating the Women's Month because it's the Women's Month, okay, uh, worldwide. And uh, sa ating mga Kapix Pro, mga members natin na Pix Pro, mga nagagandahan at mga uh, nagpipitaga, nag, 
pipitaganang. <laughs> Ay, hindi kita masamot sa Tagalog mo. O oh, nga, eh, nagpipitaga ng mga babae sa buong mundo at mga kapix pro natin, mabuhay tayong lahat. <laughs> yeah, happy woman. Yes. Month. Yes. But uh, yeah, so we have invited, uh, na-mention nga natin, uh, we have invited our technology partners. Uh, so, Frenzy, uh, maybe you can introduce them one by one. Now na ba, Pren, IBP? I-share ko pa ba yung screen ko or no need na? Hindi na, hindi na. Let them uh, introduce yeah, okay. themselves. If they can also uh, ano, show na rin. Uh, Open their cameras. Their cameras. Face reveal. Para makita natin. Pa face reveal uh, naman po sa aming mga magagandang bisita for today. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Ayan. Ayan na sila. Of course, we will introduce now uh, one by one. So we will start introducing from Inspira. We have Miss Pat De Los Reyes. Hi, Miss Pat. Good afternoon. Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon sa mga mananood natin sa online. Good afternoon. Hi, Miss Pat. Hello. Thanks, Pro. Yes, po. Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, short we intro. also have... Yeah. Short, Ay, yeah, short intro na Miss Pat. Ah. Yeah. So, okay. bago tayo uh, pumunta sa next natin na uh, uh, invited tech partner. Okay, so short so, intro um, lang yeah. about yourself. Yes. Good afternoon again. I'm Patricia De Los Reyes. You can call me Pat. So, I'm uh, in, uh, from Inspiratech Philippines Corp. A sales manager and I've been in the IT industry for about seven and a half years already. Wow. Welcome. Nan Hello. Kasama ba yung mga taga-inspira dito sa live audience? Not yet. Kasi lahat Shout sila. Shout out po sa mga taga-inspira dyan. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ayun. Next, Miss Frenzy. Thank you, Miss Pat. Of course, we would like to welcome as well from iTraverse. We have Miss Mel T. Lau. Hi, Miss Mel. Ay po, magandang hapon po sa lahat. Uh, so, I'm Mel from iTraverse. Um, my role primarily involves on the technical side, uh, usually mga post-sales. So, yeah, I'm just clearly uh, fresh in this industry pa. We're not that fresh, of course. <laughs> But, yeah, yun lang po. Hi po, everyone. Hello, shout out sa mga taga-itraverse dyan. Hashtag yeah, ito, daming... itraverse. Yay! <laughs> Go, Mel! Yes, Mel! Yes, yes. yes. Marami siyang followers. Yeah, parang ano, sinakop na ng itraverse. Ala! <laughs> yeah, of course, hindi rin magpapahuli ang ating mga taga-emtech. <laughs> So we have here Miss Asher Alaw from MTech. Hi Miss Asher. Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Hi, Hi mga Kapix Pro. Good afternoon po. So uh, just to introduce myself, uh, again I'm Asher. I'm currently an I security engineer from F Security Tech Philippines and I've been in this industry for around um, five years now. And um, I think um, my, my role basically is uh, more on, I've been handling uh, cybersecurity tools na din po and handling from endpoint network to cloud na din. So in the cybersecurity space, uh, it's important in my job to know yung mga, you know, yung mga current uh, threat campaigns na din and vulnerable. So ayun po. So, hi everyone, good afternoon. Hello, shout out to MK. Pante babae. <laughs> <laughs> We have two technical pala for today's yes. session. Mm -hmm. Pero wala tayong tech session ngayon, no? Diba to? Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> Iba ito. <yun. laughs> ano, ano. Kasi hindi rin magpapahuli. Meron din tayong representative from Netpolion. We have Miss Jero Anpayang. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, mga Kapix Pro. So, just to introduce myself, I'm Jero Antayang. So, I am the marketing manager of uh, NSPH Inc. Netpolion and um, currently with the company for almost seven years. Yan lang. Hi, Miss Jero. Shout out to Netpolion. Hi, shout out to Netpolion team. <laughs> Ayan. 
Ayan. I think we've um completed our panelists na from the tech partners. And BP Carms, I think marami na tayong audience, no? Parang humakot talaga yung participants natin today ng audience nila. Shout up Shout out dyan sa mga taga MTEC, Inspira, Miss Paula. Hi! Also, we have here from iTraverse, ang dami talagang audience. Parang sa netball yun, kailangan natin maghatak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I think, uh, excited, uh, uh, pinafollow nila talaga ang mga kababaihan, okay? <laughs> ng mga, ano natin, ng mga tech partners natin. And uh, thank you very much for uh, joining us. Okay, so uh, 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 what we uh, what we have prepared for this afternoon is that you know uh, we just want to get insights and you know gusto nating uh, maintindihan from our uh, panelists, no, with regards to yung mga opinion nila. Uh, since this is the uh, Women's Month nga, no? So, baka mamaya yung mga sasabihin nila, no? Mamaya ma-post na rin. May mga quotable quotes silang masasabi mamaya, no? So, maganda, magandang uh, marinig din yung mga opinion ng mga uh, babae, okay? With regards to this uh, topics, right? So, uh, we'll start. Sige, sige uh, VP Wana, maybe uh, you can start uh, with... Uh, you know, uh, some of the questions na na-prepare. Okay, actually, nag-prepare kami ng questions. Uh, Nagparaffle kami ng questions. So, <laughs> ito yung mga selected questions natin. Okay, so uh, just feel free to uh, answer, no? With mm -hmm. all your heart. Yeah, so before we start, po, we just want to show you kung ano yung magiging topic natin today kasi meron pa tayong pa-music dyan, right, Miss Frensky? Baka pwede mo naman, ano, uh, pakita lang sa dali yung slide natin of our topic today para aware din ng ating mga audience. So while doing that, hello po sa mga nasa live na po. Good afternoon, everyone. Yan, ang dami nyo naman pong mga bit-bit. Girl power! And magtanong din kayo ha, so kahit na wala kaming uh, technology na presentation, uh, magtanong din kayo, baka may mga gusto kayong tanong sa mga panelists natin. Yeah, and so our topic for today will be the Meet the Powerhouse Women of Big Pro NCR. So malam Q&A po tayo today, so this will be a... Um, question and answer portion to all our tech partners, especially um, our guests. And of course, isasali natin si Press Reese para naman marinig natin ang bosses ng national. <laughs> ang president, ang kababaihan. Ayan. Hi, Mr. Chair. So mag-chat, ah, mag, uh, mag-post sila ng questions, right? And, uh, Uh, we'll make sure na masasagot namin. Huwag yes. lang na apply pa. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sige, Miss Frenzy. I think we can put it back to the ano na. Para makita nilang lahat kung sino-sino ang guest today ng Peaks Pro. Ayan. Okay, so I think it's the time for me to start now with a Q&A. Ayan. So sa ating top 1, 2, Top five women <laughs> na natira. <laughs> so, final list. <laughs> okay. So, here's my first question. So, what do you think is the biggest issue women in tech or business are facing today? So, this question is for Ms. Mel. Uh, so, uh, am I audible? Bro? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, There are numerous issues versus for women today, but I think the biggest issue that the women is facing today in in this industry is the intersectional discrimination. So this discrimination happened within the marginalized groups such as women of color, um, women who are part of LGBTQIA+, and of course the women with disabilities and This is where gender stereotype generates, no? So the roles are defined depending on, on how they are perceived in the society. So kung for example, sobrang maganda yung babae na yan, so yung judgment ng ibang tao, ah, hindi siya matalino. Yung iba naman, ah, hindi siya masyadong upkeep. So ibig sabihin, sobrang talino niya, hindi niya naaalagaan yung sarili niya. So sa, sa if, 
for the tech or business industry, it's really hard, of course, especially because may may certain pressure and certain expectation for all the women out there. And generally, pahirapan talaga, especially pag mag apply ka ng trabaho. I don't know. Kaya ba mm. nag-technical ka, Ms. Mel? <laughs> <laughs> so, pinatunayan mo na kaya nating mga kababae na maging engineer. Maging yes, of course. Kaya <laughs> naman, kahit na, ano, kahit na, na, na nasa, ano siya, engineering siya, eh, pero kaya naman, maganda naman ang ating... Ay, mm-hmm. ay. Yeah. Imagine <laughs> mag-isa lang Morena, daw siya na Morena, babae Morena. sa technical yes. team ng Hytraverse. Wow! Oh, okay. yes. yes! Ayan ang, uh, dyan tayo proud, no? Imagine mo. Soul Ayan. women. VP Carl, baka naman may, may dadagdag ka dun sa question ko. What do you think is the biggest issue women in tech or business are facing today? Ako ba yan? Yes po. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so actually I agree do sa sinabi ni uh, ano no ni uh nung atin nung uh, una nating uh, um panelist, right? So uh I think so lalo na no kunyari may mga um colleagues ka na mga different yung nationality, di ba? So I think nap- napapansin nila una, okay, are the women. Okay, sino ba yung magiging boss ko? Di ba? Parang ganoon eh no. So parang uh, to them, okay, is that uh medyo may uh nagjudge pa sila, okay, whether ang magiging boss nila is babae or lalaki, di ba? So may ganun pa eh, may ganun pa tayong uh, I think yung mindset no, hindi pa ganun ka kalawak ang mindset ng mga tao pagdating sa you know us being the uh, boss no, uh, in terms of being the leader no. And uh, I think in terms of yung uh, saan din tayo at a disadvantage tama din yung sinabi kanina no so tayo mga babae no pag uh, mag-apply nga ng trabaho we need to like you know uh, do makeup di ba tama magpaganda pa tayo pero bakit di ba kailangan ba ganun lagi hindi di ba so i i think uh, yun yung kinalakihan na eh. I think naging mindset na pag babae, kailangan maayos ka talaga, kailangan presentable ka talaga, kailangan meron kang uh, parang uh, kailangan yung uh, mapepresent mo sa tao is maganda. ba? Diba? Pero hindi naman porque maganda ka, may talino ka ba? Hindi naman ganun. ba? Diba? Kung maganda ka ba, kung nagbihis ka ba, kung nag-makeup ka ba, may maibibigay ka ba na maganda sa company mo? Hindi din ganun. ba? Diba? So I think yun yung mga um you know mga challenges ngayon and and I think uh since dati pa yon no and hindi yon nababago and hopefully no ma-change yan. Wow, ang bigat parang coming diba? from experience yan na. Ano no kana ko makeup ako. <laughs> hindi na din ako magme-makeup pagpasok ko sa Monday. <laughs> Ayan, thank you, VP Carm. So for our next question, so this is for uh Miss Asher. So Miss Asher, who is the woman you look up to, and uh or your role model? So either in your personal or in your work. So do you have any role model? Yeah. So hi, mga kapix programmer. Thank you, ma'am, then sa question. No? So I guess for me um it's very important no, na meron tayong role model that we look up to not just in general life but of course my mother siya yung role model ko and I think everyone naman for us but um talking about career wise in the cybersecurity I think it's very important to have one like um if I may share no um when I was starting in this industry I've actually come to a point na I question my career path. If, do I really belong here in this industry? Because um initially when I first came in, uh basically majority ng mga teammates namin uh more on guys and men. And it's very rare to have a technical women person as we can say, right? And um yeah, as I continue along with my cybersecurity journey, 
um, along the way, of course, meron naman kami, meron tayong direct engagement with clients, with partners, and um, yung mga na-encounter kong clients, uh, there are really women na that in, in that space, so they're already up there. So that's why um, that kept me, uh, that kept as a reminder for me to continue yung uh, cybersecurity journey ko. Right? So uh, actually, yung question po nga before, meron ba talagang women that succeeds in this cybersecurity space? So yeah, I think that that is the ano po, reminder for me to continue in this path. And siguro if one person that I look up, especially in the cybersecurity space, uh, huwag na tayong lumayo, kay Miss Riz, kay Mom Riz. So, um, thank you, ma'am, for, for the opportunity, of course, that you you give me, especially to be here in the, the big school. So, thank you po. And siguro what I wanted to add then, additionally, is um, we we can, ano, we can set ourselves as a role model then. So, we can look up to ourselves as a role model because uh, siguro yung lagi din sinasabi ni, ni Mom Riz to, uh, not everyone is perfect. Not everyone is always in their, we can say, their peakest. We have our bad days, we have our good days. Um, but uh, I think um, we have to ano, challenge ourselves as women. How do we, ano ba? How do we visualize ourselves in the cybersecurity space? So, ano ba yung, not just for everyone to see, pero for ourselves na lang. How do we want to visualize ourselves as a cybersecurity professional. So I think ano po, um you can say na you're competing against yourself pero in a healthy way naman. So parang ganun. So I think for me yun, we can we can look up to uh personally sa mga um other person as our role model and more importantly sa sarili natin. So ayun, thank, thank you po. Wow, agree. I mean Kailangan talaga meron kang nilook up to eh para 'di ba mag-strive ka every day. Alam mo yun, parang sila yung ano mo strength mo na I want to be para stepping stone mo sila. Hindi yung para maingit ka sa kanila, but to look yes, at them sir. as your role model na someday I want to be like her, someday I want to be successful like her. Oh, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yung ganun ba? So that's really tama. good point. Tama yun, so, tama yun. Mm-hmm. And maganda yung ano, maganda yung attitude eh. Maganda yung uh, you know, nandiyan yung uh, tamang uh, perspective, no? Uh, in terms of your career, 'di ba? So sinabi nga niya na ano no, ang kalaban niya is sarili niya. <laughs> okay, because meron siyang uh, of course may mga linolook up to siya, meaning may gusto siyang ma-achieve. And gusto niyang marating 'yon, right? Very good. Very nice. Yeah. Ayan, sabi ng mga yeah. ano natin, ng live view natin, universe. pang Miss Universe daw ang sagutan. Uh, <laughs> Grabe. Very well said, <laughs> candidate Asher. <laughs> Ayan, so By the way, si BP Sheila is already here. We'd like to applaud you. Hi, BP Sheila. Gagang hapon. Ayan. So, si, tanungin ko din naman si Press Reese about it. So, Press Reese, syempre, ano ka eh, country manager ka na. So, syempre, interested din po ako malaman if, do you still have a role model in your life before, you know, uh, personal man yan or yung work man yan? Is there any? Uh, yes, before ko sagutin yan, one, I would like to uh, again say hi and good afternoon to our uh, kap- mga Kapix Pro. Uh, especially, special shout out to our MSPH family. Uh, I think marami kaming nahatak for today's video. Oh, oh, <laughs> Mandami, oh. So, uh, also, ayan, naiyak na naman ako sa sinabi ni Asher. So, thank you, oh, Asher. Oo alam mo, press race. Okay. Actually, na, na-touch din ako doon, ano. Yeah. And, and yun so, yung, thank you, Asher. Yeah. Yun yung magpapatunay talaga na, alam mo yun, yung greatness mo as a mentor and as a woman. A leader, yes. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You. So, yeah. Ako actually I ano I agree with Asher um being a a girl or a woman in the tech industry also in business laging ano eh merong uh merong kumpara laging may parang balakid for us because we are we are girls or we are we are, we are women diba but um just to share um I started also as a technical engineer uh way back 
I don't know, <laughs> mga 17 years ago, <laughs> mga ganyan. So, and um, when Asher came in as uh, our first uh, female no, na tech technical or pre-sales uh, with M-Tech, that's really, you no, know, I'm very proud of her. And nakita ko yung journey niya. So, um, being a shy, you know, shy type girl, and now she's, you know, very... Um, Uh, confident in terms of speaking then uh, in terms of presentation magaling din kumanta si Asher so baka mamaya pwede, pwede niya tayo hey, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. so and uh, right now um, we encourage you know more um more girls more women more female to um get into cybersecurity kasi we need more uh, talents di ba Um, in terms of sa question ni um, Bibi Wana, um, of course, I have uh, I still have mentors and um, someone that I look up to. So, first, um, sabi nga ni Asher, yung mother niya. For me, my my mommy is also my um, my role model or my idol. Uh, shout out to my mom, mommy. <laughs> Alam ko na tunood siya kasi laging number one liker ng uh, Pix Pro si ang mommy ko. So I admire her for her hard work, her perseverance, her wisdom as a businesswoman and as a, and her caring ano nature no. So just just a background lang din. So we have this small business in uh, Cavite and it's before it's just a typical sari-sari store. And um the reason that I admire my my mommy because um she saw the opportunity of expanding that small sari-sari store business. and um into a like a fishing supply sari sari store no so we kasi we we um we live in a community na close to the sea so ang ang ano namin is uh, mga fishermen no uh yun yung mga clients namin so nakita niya yung need and um from there kahit na maraming mga sari sari store doon sa barangay namin Um, nagkaroon kami ng niche no in terms of dun sa business and even after other uh, competitors then did the same nagtayo din sila ng uh, fishing supply store pero kami pa rin yung binabalik-balikan ng mga customer so why because um mommy ko she's focused very focused on what she does so um she she inalam niya yung mga needs ng customer no kahit na ano yan, lambat, pintura, screw, whatever no so i'm sure hindi siya ganoon ka well versed before dun sa mga terminology so like in tech in tech din no um pero i'm sure na inaral niya yon o based dun sa mga nakakausap niyang customer so that's why it's very important to listen no um she's very committed to serve her customers every day at 5 a.m. we open the store so even during weekends even sometimes even during holidays because she knows na yun yung ano needs ng uh, ng mga customers and ayun nga as mentioned she's unbothered by the competition so regardless of how many sari sari store na yung mga nagbukas um and kahit meron din silang mga fishing supplies kami pa rin yung binabalik-balikan ng community even Um, customers outside the barangay of our, you know, yung sakop na barangay. May mga dayo na. Um, then second, uh, hindi na rin ako lalayo. Uh, my second, um, I can say also a mentor is uh, our very own BP Sheila. So yeah. <laughs> so um, as you know, we started as a, you know, the usual vendor, this tea, you know, um, And now we became uh, actually good friends. And I consider her really as a good mentor and a trusted mentor. So I, uh, we know whether we play golf or sa mga organizations na um, ventures namin, she always push me na and gives me the confidence. So she really inspires me to be better. Um, and then next is... Um, Um, I was reading this book um, uh, from Indra Nui. Um, she's the previously the president of or CEO of PepsiCo. Um, yung book niya to, My Life in Full. Oh, di ba may paprops? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, to be honest, hindi ko parin tapos after one year yung book, no. Pero nag-research na rin ako about her, 
and um i saw some um good you know clips the uh, quotes from her book so yung isa doon is um and if i may quote you may be the president or whatever of pepsico but when you come home you are a wife a mother and a daughter nobody can take your place so leave your crown in the garage yun yung sabi so with that actually um Aside from the female uh, role models or mentors, I would also like to acknowledge also my family, especially my husband. So baka kinikilig na siya dyan sa likod. <laughs> Why? Because uh, during the time na, you know, as a, as a leader in the company, I have different organizations that um, I'm part of. Um, he's always there you know, to, to support me and also cheer me. And if... Um, I know that he's also busy in his work but um when the time comes na kailangan ko siya to help with Riley he's there no so it's very important yung support ng family so yun that's it ang habi ko na <laughs> so yeah thank you uh, thank you so much press visa for your uh, wonderful answer actually ako din ni mommy ko din yung role model ko she yung number I think one everyone fan. naman <laughs> Oh, I think oh. everyone Parang, diba, lahat one. Lahat yeah. Yeah. Yung, yung, yung nanay natin, yung number one fan natin, and then sila yung role model natin. So, yun. Um, happy Mother's Day, Charot. Naiiyak na si Iwana. Ayan. Sige, si next question na nga po tayo. Okay, so for my next question, this is for Miss Pat. Hi, Miss Pat. So, yeah. my question to you is, what achievements are most are you most proud of as a woman? Okay. Yung sa end ko naman is more on nakapag-help ako and provide sa family. Kasi in older days, di ba, most of the time, male are the ones who provide uh, food and everything, support financially. But right now, kasi para kaming tres maria sa family. So lahat kami babae. So being able to provide support and help the family is one of the greatest achievements. And at the same time, one of the greatest achievements that was happened been before was um I was a process engineer when I started um the tech industry. So um being able to become a process engineer, parang questionable siya sa industry, eh, na babae tapos process engineer, de ba? So most of the time kapag babae, sales ka kagad. So being able to go to the client, provide a solution and being a precious engineer talaga before was one of my uh, achievement in life then. Wow. Parang so, ano ka na, may ambag ka na sa nagkita. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, syempre, achievement ko din yun, no? Lahat, parang lahat naman tayo pag nag-work na tayo. Pero, well, there are really some who na hindi talaga nag-aambag. <laughs> Pero nakaka- <laughs> nakakatuwa naman talaga na, you know, uh, if ever may contribution tayo, eh, di ba? Sa family or mm-hmm. sa household. Yes, at saka no matter how small or big your contribution is, it's still the thoughts that count, di ba? Yung nakatulong ka and naisip mo sila. Tama. tama. Not just for family, but also for your, your work, di ba? Kahit na maliit lang yung uh, yung naitulong mo doon, but still you tried, you, you did your best, di ba? So, syempre, hindi magpapahuli ang VP Frenzy natin. <laughs> Meron Sabi din ko, VP one, eh. <laughs> Meron din siyang sagot sa tanong na yan. Actually, so, yung sagot ko, yeah, actually, BP1, yung sagot ko is um, similar to Miss Pat. So, syempre, iba din yung you provide for the family. Hindi naman yung primary, ako lang yung nagpo-provide. But yeah, it's a help with my other siblings to provide whatever our parents needs, di ba? So, iba yung, ano eh, iba yung, uh, gratitude mo or ano ba achievement mo pagka ganun that you were able to help who, those who helped you before okay. and that's for my personal but for the career wise syempre um, yung sa inyo you started in pre-sales but me I was different I started um, before I become a sales person I started as human resource so I'd been doing HR for 5 years and uh, I I transferred to being a sales during pandemic time. Um, imagine it was pandemic. I was doing the sales the, the pandemic time. 
ang hirap kasi virtual mo gagawin lahat. And the thing is that I was able to achieve and help those, um of course, the company as well. And may pinaka-achievement ko na naramdaman was that whenever I'm talking to client, alam, uh, binabalik-balikan nila ako whenever they have inquiries, al uh, nilalapitan nila ako, ma, meron ba kayo ganyan? Of course, it was one of the greatest achievement ng sales that you were top mind ng mga clients. So I think that's one that I can say that I can be most proud of. Imagine I, I, I've been two years, three years as sales and then five years in HR. But yeah, I was able to actually survive in the sales world. Congrats. <laughs> yeah. So proud of you. Alam mo, si VP Friends, yeah, very helpful talaga po siya. And then, and, hindi naman yan magbe-best sales kung di siya magaling. <laughs> so, di ba? Yeah. So, talagang, isa din siya sa achievement and asset talaga ng Netfolio. <laughs> Go, VP Friends. Ayan. Na-build, na-build niya yung trust. <laughs> of course, yes. Ayan. So, for the next question, this is for uh, Miss Mel. So, Miss Mel, Uh, my question to you is, what challenges do you think women still face in today's world? So, I think yung challenges na hinaharap ngayon ng mga kababaihan is, of course, balancing career advancement with motherhood in relation din to sa second question, of course. So, alam naman natin, yung pinaka-main obstacle talaga ng mga babae ngayon is effectively managing their career prospects while, of course, fully embracing the responsibilities of a motherhood. So, lahat ng working mothers have to uh, have a two full-time jobs as a nanay and as an employee, of course. Though I'm not a mother myself, but I can really... um really feel them as a woman. My mom is also a working mom. And when I was a kid, alam mo yung, alam ko yung busy-busy siya, pero maaga siyang gumigising para pag-prepare kami ng food. Tapos, pasok na naman siya sa work. Tapos after work, balik na naman siya sa pagkananay sa amin. Alam mo yung ganun. And then, I can really attest how really challenging it is for for us women to have, to have a work life balance even even myself single pa ako how much more yung mga moms natin diyan or single moms na working and a special mention din po i have this co- colleague of mine of course she's here si so me i'm also amazed by her because imagine niyo siya yung breadwinner sa family niya and hindi ko alam kung paano niya kinakaya lahat kasi financially mentally emotionally lahat na lang ng mga with LY. <laughs> and I I really I really have an ache when when every time may gala kami tas for example bibiruin siya ng uy ano ba yan wala ka bang uuwian wala ka bang pamilya ganun kasi minsan nagagabihan kami so um you know there's also a stigma na pag nanay ka or what kailangan mo mong umuwi ng maaga bawal ka maging masaya bawal ka maging maganda dapat haggard lang kasi ganun naman talaga daw ang mga nanay So everybody has its own identity and the part that you're a mother you will re- you will forget the totality of your yourself as a woman. So usually hindi yung iba hindi pinapayagan magtrabaho kasi diyan ka lang sa bahay ganun. And this is really hinder hinders women's participation in the worker workforce and of course nalilimit yung economic independence ng mga babae. Yes na po. Sobrang agree naman ako dyan sa sagot mo. <laughs> Thank you, Nakaka-regate man. ako. <laughs> Ayan. So, syempre, I also want to hear from VP, uh, from VP Sheila. So, hello, ma'am. Good afternoon. Hi. So, Hi, everyone. Hi, mga Kapix Pro. I miss you all. I think <laughs> after a few months ngayon lang ulit naka-join. So, Thank you no sa NCR team for in, um inviting me and president please. Um before I answer the question uh, Ms. Juana, VP Juana, I just wanna say thank you also to Press Reese. Um back at you, you are also I consider you a huge mentor in my life, a supporter and a great leader no. So I admire you very much. Um I agree with everyone, everything that Mel just mentioned and maybe to add also to what Pat mentioned a while ago. So I think in my career, career-wise, no, um, 
sometimes yung customers natin parang hindi sila naniniwala na we understand what we're talking about or what their issues are, whether it's technical or not in nature. So I think uh, that's one uh, one concern. No, na I think it's very, very evident pa rin. And I hope it will change uh, someday. Um, and I guess my advice to everyone is try to read up, do certifications. I think that will probably help somehow, you know, bridge the conversations. Um, I think uh, one thing din na napapansin ko, especially at my age right now, is sa ating mga babae, still a struggle to become a board director or, you know, uh, very high up in the board, no, sa mga companies. And in fact, when you... When you think about it, a lot of the organizations, even in the Philippines, probably mostly because we're a very patriarchal society, no? Uh, kukunti pa rin yung mga seats na are open to women leaders, women board of directors. Um, of course, except for Peaks Pro because we are like 50-50, no? Sa national and baka sa NCR nga, more women pa than the, the male. Mm -hmm. So it's good that we are we are accepting that, you know, it has to be balanced. But globally, I think it's like 20 to 25 percent pa lang. So we still have a lot to do to reach that 50-50 type of ano. And you know why it matters? Because there are a lot of challenges that women face that men do not understand. Okay, I mean, I'm not uh, disrespecting yung role ng mga guys, no, ng mga lalaki. But you know, like for example, work-life balance, handling the family, etc. Still, we are doing that 100 percent as mothers or as parents and 100 percent as you know, leaders or whatever. So, there are needs na kailangan ng mga babae. So, uh, at meron din tayo mga naibibigay, no? Like yung, I think you understanding more on emotional level, right? We are, we sometimes, or maybe we decide more we, and we factor the emotional component when we make decisions. So, I think yun yung mga kailangan natin ma-achieve. Probably in 10 years time, it will be 50-50. So, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. And syempre, hindi, uh, I mean, here in the Philippines, I think mas, medyo tang, mas tanggap na naman nila ang mga woman leaders than the others. Yun nga lang sa foreign country talaga, no? marami pa rin hindi, hindi talaga um, inaalaw na maging leader sa mga kababaihan. But then, I still have um, three more questions. So for my next question, it's gonna be for um, Press Reese. So, Press Reese, how do you think women can support and, uh, and uplift each other? Um, yeah, thank you for that question, Juan. Very promise you. <laughs> so, um, for me, um, by being their cheerleader, no? So, yung sabi nga ni BP kanina, um, whether nasa in your career or in another organization or kung ano yung tinatahak mong journey when you have when you surround yourself with um not just women but individuals that are ano are talking about dreams goals and impact and they cheer you so it matters and it makes you dream more no so um i think for us women um uh, very very important to have that strong community so ako i would like to shout out again so to my um some of my sacred space sisters here um and some of them are watching and um later on meron akong quick uh get together with some of my sacred space sisters then so this is a group of com a group of and uh, then mostly female then and um you know you can uh just talk about anything no judgment and um we just be a cheerleader for everyone so yun, for me um thank you <laughs> Ayun. thank you Presley. actually this questions this question is for me also nandito din yung pangalan ko <laughs> So, ako naman, for me, um, yeah, well, I agree. You, you know, up to uplift other women, you, you just have to have um, a listening ear, a kind heart, diba? Share your stories and embrace each other's individually. Kasi, diba, hindi naman tayo pare-pareho ng uh, pinagdadaanan, though pare-pareho tayo ng role, pero iba-iba tayo ng pinagdadaanan. So, you know, um, share your experience, uh, be kind, and then uh, embrace, embrace each other. 
So, listen. Kasi sa atin, minsan naman hindi mo naman kailangan mag-comment eh. Kailangan mo lang ng tagapakinig. Diba? So, kumbaga, parang that's how that's how you help me uplift myself. If you just listen to me, I I mean, bonus na yun kung mag-comment ka and then thank you for your for your kind words. Pero, alam mo yun, sometimes uh, kailangan lang natin ng pat in the back to uplift each other. And, syempre, um, hindi naman din lahat ng, sa lahat ng panahon na um, yung gusto mong karamay, eh kaya ka damayan. So, you know, um, just, um, Just be with each other as a woman. So yun, yeah, that's that's for me. Ayan. So baka VP Carms, baka may maidadagdag ka pa. <laughs> um, wala. Actually, very uh, very uplifting. Actually, na-uplift ako sa mga, <laughs> sa mga words nyo. No? Pero tama yun. No? So uh, I think uh, the best way talaga para uh, maging uh, positive ang ang disposition ng mga taong nasa paligid mo is for you to also exhibit the same thing eh. di ba if you're kind to them if you are very consoling and at the same time if nakikinig ka di ba so i think that's the most important thing eh. you just have to listen because tayo mga babae mahilig tayo magsabi no so uh, tayo uh, we we tend to also express ourselves sa kapwa nating babae na you know may the same na pinagdadaanan. So I think yun yung the best thing that we can uplift each other by listening. Tama. Thank you so much VP Carm. So for our next question, this is for Miss Frenzy. VP Frenzy, ikaw na unahin ko. <laughs> oh God, ako na naman, sir. <laughs> How do you oh. practice? How do you practice self-care and prioritize your well-being as a woman? Yeah, thank you for the question, Miss Wana. <laughs> so yeah, uh, how do I practice self care? Of course, uh, these days, uh, ang problem natin, and I think not everyone is open dun sa mental problem natin, right? The mental health. Um, a lot of people encountering anxiety, depression, especially when the pandemic hit. So right now, uh, what I'm doing for me to avoid the Of course, sa uh, industry natin, it's really, really stressful. So, of course, it's how you will manage the stress. Hindi ka magpapakain dun sa stress mo. So, uh, what's important for me is yung mental health ko. I should be stable. Hindi ko, hindi ko dapat maramdaman yung, uh, yung mga issues na kainin ako, kung ano yung problems ko right now, especially sa work. Hindi ako magpapa-apekto personally. Kasi once you are affected for that, even your personal life, maapektuhan. Everything will be affected. Especially yung anxiety, it will hit you different. Eh. So, I have a lot of friends na meron yan and they are um like next level talaga yung problem nila with that that they are take uh, going to um psych yung mga no. session na yan. So, what, in, what important, syempre yung how you will take care of yourself. Like for me, every time, every weekend, I rarely touch my laptop na hindi ko madadapuan ng any work. So, if kayang ipagpamantay na lang, we can do that. But if it's really, if it's really urgent, of course, the weekend, especially, um, you need to have time for your family, time for yourself. So, for me, time for myself, I do watch K-drama. Yan lang, ano ko. So, K-drama pa ako. So, yun lang ang ginagawa ko. So, whenever uh, I have a chance to go outside of the, ta- uh, out of town, I also do that. It's really helpful for you to gain your uh, mind peaceful, peacefully. So, yun yung kailangan natin to avoid this um anxiety and depression. But, yeah, yun nga sabi mo, Miss Wana, kanina, pare-parehas tayo halos sa industry but then again yung pinagdadaanan natin it's different so it's really how you will manage the stress level that you have para hindi mo to mararamdaman ko ano man yung um hindi makakabuti sa health natin especially sa mental so yun siya mas wala i do k drama that's my weekend life <laughs> and then out of it yeah. well important yan dapat talaga may outlet ka kasi kung wala baka mabaliw 'di ba yes 
Iba, iba, iba eh. <laughs> so, yeah. Please, Kaya, pa- actually, to, just to add on that, no, Juana, so, uh, yung nasabi nga ni Press Reese, ano, it's also really, it, it's really good to have your support group, no? So, katulad nung uh, group ni uh, Press Reese, yung, uh, ano yun, Press Reese, I guess, Sacred Space. Sacred Space, yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. So that's a uh, very important kasi yun yung uh, magso-support sa yo and at the same time sila rin yung makaka-guide sa yo if uh, yun nga meron kang uh, mental health concern, right? So very good yan. Yeah. So I think uh, si Miss Pat also I want to ask her the same question. So how do you practice your self-care? Okay, kasi kanina nasabi na rin yung outlet. So, of course, I do have my own hobbies na lang din. And at the same time, yung outlet ko was more on if I have a free time, I will go to the gym after work. Tapos, and um, sumasali din ako for run. So, for this month specifically, there are two runs na focuses on women. So, I somehow joined uh, that run as well. So, more on talagang naghahanap ng hobby for me to be able to release the stress, lalo na sa field of work natin. Dapat, ano, strong ang mind and body mo. Healthy ka. Yes, tama. So, yun. So, thank you. So, now we're down to our last questions. But just to, um, for so, I think audience, may, uh, nag-raise ng hand si, uh, Press Rick. Si Press Rick. Sige po. Yeah. So, ako, I'll add lang, uh, just, a few minutes no for regarding the how do you ano yun, practice practice okay, self prioritize your well-being so um siguro one thing na minsan nakakalimutan natin um is to breathe no so um deep breaths talaga no so i think for so i would just like to do this just for 10 seconds no for everyone just you know uh, put your hands on your uh, heart and let's take deep breaths. Hey, di ba? Sarap ng pakiramdam. Just, yeah, you know, para kang nag yoga Yes. So, maraming, ano, different um, kinds of, um, a practice of self care so but breathing is one so you can do like ganyan parang um deep breaths when you feel like um everything is very overwhelming already you feel you know anxious so just just breathe um there's also some different types of meditation uh you can do yoga you can do a walking meditation no yung mindful um uh, meditation na tinatawag nila because um it gets your mind na super cluttered na of dun sa mga ganun and um you know uh yun some some ano lang some tips on practicing self care thank you yeah agree mm-hmm. kasi si press Reese is very active may golf ka pa no press oh hi <laughs> yes <laughs> Dapat ganda um, marami siyang outlet. outlet. Sige po, mm-hmm. mag-enroll na po ako sa gym. <laughs> Ayan. So, for our last question, uh, this is for Miss Jero. So, Miss Jero, what advice would you give to the young girls and women aspiring to achieve their goals? Okay. So, um, what I... Siyempre, ina-advise ko din siya sa sarili ko. So, yung mga... So, kung i-advise, four things lang for those young women. Um, first, believe in yourself. Siyempre, um, we should always have confidence and trust to ourselves. So, without it, uh, we can't go on. We can't do um, those things that we thought we cannot do. And then, second, siyempre, um, learn new things, embrace growth embrace new learnings. So, it doesn't mean naman na it has to be um, related to work. So, it can be a new skill, new hobby. Um, right now, uh, what, I, what I can share is that I embrace a new group uh, in netball yun. So, right now, I'm taking up a new role. So, I'm embracing growth. So, I'm enjoying things and I'm enjoying, I, I'm enjoying doing that. Um, so that's what I can advise. Na you should have a skill, new hobby. 
it doesn't matter if it's related to work or if it's related to to other things or personal. Embrace new growth. And third, sabi nga ni Ms. Reese kanina is um, she has a group, uh, yung group of friends niya. You should have a positive uh, network or positive friends na y- who will support you, uh, who will aspire you to do better or to do um, to do things that would uplift your, not just your emotions, but physically, mentally, and socially. And then last thing is celebrate uh, even small achievements. So, uh, wag tayo masyadong um, ma, 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 ano sa sarili natin na porket maliit na bagay lang yung na-achieve natin. It's, it's, it's just small. Celebrate it. Always celebrate it. So, since uh, every journey naman is different, but uh, those four things is uh, the most important um, uh, things that I can advise to young women. And thank you. Wow. Thank you so much, Ms. Jero. So, we have three girls who will answer this. So, nito yung nakuha kami magko-comment. So, for the next um, um, panel, uh, it's going to be VP Sheila. Hey, thank you, Jero. That those are very nice, ano, ano, advice that you've given. So, sa akin, I'll probably be basing it the sa experience ko sa buhay, no. So, number one, avoid mediocrity. Okay, so always aim for the best, aim for quality. Um, no matter how hard it is, give it your best shot. Okay. Uh, secondly, avoid or try not to procrastinate too much. What you can do today, do it now. You know, uh, don't postpone it for a later date. So I think yung importante dito is you set milestones or goals for yourself. For example, if you want to learn a new course, uh, allocate to one hour a day, put it in your calendar so it will remind you every day you do it. What is your deadline to do the certification? Stuff like that. So put a deadline milestone so that you know you can measure it uh, if you're on track or not. And number three, I think this is applicable to everyone. Um, it's okay to fail. It's okay to make mistakes. It's not gonna be the end of the world if you fail. Okay, and I think this is something that uh, helps us, no, para hindi tayo maging masyadong mag-cause ng anxiety sa buhay natin, especially kung nasa sales ka or very performance-driven yung trabaho mo. Kasi um, na- naranasan ko to no, no, nung before, kasi sales tayo, hindi ko maklose yung sale para feeling mo mamamatay ka na hindi. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. Um, you you don't hit your numbers. It's fine. And you know, we all realize this during the pandemic. The buhay pa lang mas importante kaysa sa benta, de ba? Ah, uh, yung self care natin mas importante pala than achieving certain numbers in life. So again, it's uh just balance, and it's okay if you fail. Just get up and try again. Thank you. Agree, agree on that. So. Uh, VP Carbs, baka meron kang masasabi about it. So we still have three minutes. Yeah, so actually, ako, it's, uh, it, ito, this is uh, very uh, applicable to me, no? Because I have uh, a daughter, seven years old, right? So as early as now, uh, I I would like her to see me as a role model, okay? So uh, as as early as now, I want to be perceived as her role model, role model, and that's so. That's why I'm exhibiting all the very, uh, you know, yung mga uh, being competitive. So nakikita niya no me as a salesperson no. So mommy, why are you always uh, on the phone? Why are you, uh, you know, why you're always chasing, <laughs> chasing uh, your, uh, you know, your customers, and why are you always, uh, you know, um, doing a lot of research? So I want her to see that, you know, um, for her to succeed, okay, there has to be, uh, you know, uh, 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 an, uh, there has to be something that he she needs to achieve, okay. So so that's why, uh, for me, ah, um, ang ang gusto ko talaga sa kanya is that, um, I'm not setting any goals for her, but I want her to realize or want her to uh, at least, you know, from herself, this is what I want to achieve, right? And this is what I've seen from my mother, and this is also what I've seen from my friends, 
Okay, so that's why I'm also uh, surrounding her with, you know, very good, uh, uh, you know, uh, community na doon siya makakakuha ng mga uh, good, uh, good, uh, good habits, right? So, yun lang, yun lang yung uh, mabibigay natin sa mga anak din natin, right? So yeah, dapat meron tayong goal talaga. Mm-hmm. So before we we before we stop, um baka po meron sa mga audience na gustong magtanong. So pahabol, we still have a minute. But shout out po kay Sir Polly Tena. So uh, greetings from Canada sabi niya. So sabi niya, shout out ka Pix Pro to all beautiful ladies and wala Miss Universe un- Miss Universe na Pix Pro. Ayan, pa-shout out din po kay VP Sheila. Hi daw po VP Sheila. <laughs> Ayan. So ayan, kung may mga Meron po bang mga tanong from the audience? So just let us know. Ayan. So I think wala nang magtatanong kasi we almost time na po tayo. So any last words, press please, VP Sheila, VP Carms, VP Brency. So yun. Ako, um, I just want to say na thank you for all of uh, our guests for today. So yeah, um for to all those uh young girls and women out there. So just keep on dreaming and uh keep on trying and then um yung mga small failures nyo, don't look at it as, you know, a negative na hindi na mangyayari yon. Just keep on trying and of course, always remember to pray. So God is with us and lagi lang kayong magdasal. And um whatever you've been going through, so just pray about it. You know, because our faith should be bigger than our worries. Ayan. So thank you again, mga Kapix Pro. And thank you to all our guests for today. And see you again on next Friday. Ayan. Thank you po. So sana sabay-sabay po natin sabihin na... Ah, ano? Happy, happy lang. <laughs> okay, okay. Sige po. Paalit po lahat. And then let's all say happy lang walang weekend. Okay. In three, two, one. So happy, happy lang, lang walang weekend. weekend. <laughs> Thank you mga ka Bye. 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 Bye.